What's up, everybody? Look, I got the, the audios on this time. Yay! Okay, so let's do this. We're going back in to play some more Grim Dawn. Feeling pretty good today. I got uh, about seven hours of sleep. Just had a sugar-free wired. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. The Chthonic Seals. That's what we were doing. We were going up to... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We were going up there to figure out... Because I couldn't find another Chthonic Seal, but it says it's in the Blood Grove. And my plan was to go from Sorrow's Bastion up into the Blood Grove so I could cover the whole thing again. And try to find more... Uh, Chthonic Seals. So... We need three Chthonic Seals. And I need the XP. So we're clearing out the Blood Grove again. That's the whole deal. I'm recording? Everything's fine? Yeah. Interesting. So a random guy just gave it to me. I don't even have to fight a boss for it? That's weird. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn the audio down just a little bit. There we go. I want when it gets loud for it to be just a little bit under my voice. So it's still able to be heard. You guys want to give me a Chthonic Seal? Oh, these are my friends. Okay. Sounds like, yep, there's are fighting. Can I come up there, please? Oh. Don't kill them all. Oh, you guys killed them all. How could you do this to me? I hear fighting over here. Oh, I can't get over there. dead, jeez. They did not want to uh, go down very easily. I've been doing a lot of work on my crypto miners. Once again, if you're a friend, or if you're uh, one of those people who was like, you know, crypto's terrible, uh, I am not one of those people who went and bought up all your graphics cards. Uh, I specifically targeted old school graphics cards that weren't really ideal for gaming, things like 570s. Uh, pretty much in any circumstance, if you were going to go with the one of the RX cards, uh, the older RX cards, you would want to get an RX 580, you know, for gaming purposes. The RX 570 wasn't quite as good at, uh, at uh, gaming, uh, but it was totally serviceable when it came to things like uh, running, uh, doing crypto and computational work and stuff like that. Even rendering and stuff like that, it's fine. If you're okay with AMD's rendering. I think one of the coolest things that AMD could possibly do is go ahead and set up a... essentially a 256 renderer. You know, they need to get one of those going on their hardware rendering. I mean, right now, I think I would probably still, if I had, uh, I would have not gotten rid of my old, my ARX 5700 XT when I bought that, but it was having some troubles, and it also wasn't very good at, uh, the Radeon carts weren't nearly as good at, uh, making content as the uh, NVIDIA. So when I had issues, like, I probably could have fixed the issues when I had picked up a 5700 XT. Uh, you know, or waited a while or, like, undervolted or something. I probably could have done something. But the fact that it didn't work straight out the gates, you know, I, I went ahead, I returned it, and I ended up picking up this 2070 Super that I use now. So, when I talk about crypto, I'm not one of those guys who ruined all your fun. 
uh, back when the 2070s and all that kind of stuff. I don't own any 3070s, you know, I don't own any of the good uh, stuff. I bought both of my 570s, or all three of my 570s, uh, second, second hand, so on eBay. So we finally got a quest done for these guys. But yeah, I've actually been having a lot of fun doing it. I love doing uh, computer hardware work. And uh, unfortunately, nowadays, there's really not a market for that. So it's not like I can make money doing it. If I was able to, you know, learn how to, like, reball GPUs and stuff like that, and I had all the gear for it, then yeah, I could get work doing it, but... Uh, I'm a little bit too shaky for that stuff, so. Yes, these appear to be in good shape. They will be most useful in returning Malkadar to this world. Next, we will require a source of arcane power. I have just the thing in mind. The Rite of Resurrection requires powerful incantations and an equally powerful energy source. Without something to draw upon, the ritual would drain the participants dry and leave them as nothing but withered husks. How can we prevent that? Ethereals are a manifestation of Aether itself, a source of pure arcane energy. The more powerful the ethereal, the hotter its spirit will burn within the ritual. To the north, near Fort Heron, so that's where we were, there is a mine called Stonerend Quarry that has become blasted with Aether fire, a front for the ethereals in the region. Travel there and track down an ethereal by the name of Doveria Stormfire. She was once a great sorceress, now no more than a pawn of the Ethereals. I will bestow a boon upon the order upon you, a boon of the order upon you to help counter her arcane prowess and contain her essence. Destroy Novaria in the order's name. I will gather the essence. It's time. It is time for me to do the things and the stuff. Did I get a, uh, a warp point up near Fort Heron? I mean, I could warp over to the point for Blood Grove. That would get me closer. So we'll do that. I'm still having some pretty serious uh, energy problems on this character. All right. I believe this is the yeah, this is the direction of Fort Hare. This is Fort Hare. What we're looking at right here. Yeah, we just we're getting close to the wall. What was that? Did you see that? I swore I just saw some highlight right in here. That was weird. Do I go this way? Oh I can go. Alright. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Stop killing my friends. My powerful necromancer friends. I do need the XP so I might as well kill all these dudes. I don't know up here. Hey! I didn't even notice you. You're dead. You're bad. Oh, that's my friend. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get up there to the port here in the waypoint. Oh, well, let's take some polished emeralds. Rampage in death. There we go. I know 
you are all valiantly defending your your fort. A great honor. But I require the power of your ethereal twisted person. The Aether. Oh wait, no, I was looking for a mine, wasn't I? I wasn't going into Fort Herod. Yeah, wait a minute. There was supposed to be a mine. Near Fort Herod. Isn't that what the... Yeah, isn't that what they said? The ritual to bring back a being as powerful as Math Dart will require a potent source of energy. Ethereals or the Aether itself? Okay, conflagration. At the Stone Rend Quarry to the northeast Blood Grove near. Okay, that's the other place. That's this place. The place where that I cleared out before. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. This is the place. All right, okay. I almost wasted all of my time coming over here. Stone Rand Quarry. That's where we go. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? I don't like your Aether stuff that kills me, but it is what it is. Ow. That hurt. That was painful. That's really, really painful. Why did I start running? I don't need to go down. I need to go up. Get off of the green stuff. There we go. I don't know if it's going to be down here or... All the way up in the corner. It's probably all the way up in the corner. Let's face it. I'm gonna get chewed up by these Aether Crystals if I don't take care of them ASAP. I know I say that every time, but... So it doesn't look like it's down here. It must be up there next to the circle. Unless that's him. Nope. It's the big dude. It's got to be the big dude. I'm not picking up those Aether Crystals because I actually want to keep some of my uh, constitution. So I don't want it to bleed me too much. There he is. Hello. Oh, ow. Why? Why? No. I swore I hit nine. Damn it. There I go, fighting a boss again without dropping a waypoint. Dumb ways to die. Really dumb ways to die. Wait, did I not go to the right place? No, I went to Sour's Bastion. That's not where I went. I meant to go. Blood Grove. Now we go up this way. A bunch of jerk faces. I swear I hit nine. That is weird. Yeah, do that. It's 
all right we'll get him this time unless he's like actively locking me out of healing or something which that's gonna be rough if that's the case to zerg him so we'll drop a little portal here we'll grab our thingy Essence, boom boom. What do we got here? Epaulets of Thunder, Vigorous. Ascended Vestment of Kings. Gosh, that sounds cool. But it's not really. There's Pauldrons of Ruin. That's not bad. Hey, quit shooting me. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, let's just pour it out. Oh, I didn't break the thingy. Cracked lodestone. Blueprint relic. Relic of torment. Or relic torment. Uh, eight vitality. Vitality damage. Torment. 25% hit. Invoke a terrible curse upon any that would dare strike you, causing weakness and intense pain. It's pretty cool. All right. We got it. Time to go back to Sorrow's Bastion. I mean, it sounds like a really bad idea to be raising some kind of crazy necromancer guy, but we're doing it. Oh, wrong one. I remember one of the first times that I was playing through this game. I didn't actually know that there was like faction mechanics and stuff like this. So I hadn't actually done anything to join these factions and I was just killing all of these people, all of them, all of these guys and the, uh, the other order. Gathered her ends essence. Excellent work. I was worried that she may have been too much for you, but you have proven to be quite resourceful. There is but one final piece we still require to bring back Malgadar. But that is not for me to discuss. Speak with the Keeper when you are able. She will have the details. The Keeper of Tomes, guardian of the Order's knowledge. She has become the Order's de facto leader after Ouroboros' disappearance. Yes, sadly, our master has left us several years ago. To what end, we do not know. He left us no information as to his departure, nor has he tried to contact anyone within the Order. Has anyone gone after him? Yes, quite a few. Some never returned, dead, or still searching. Before the grim dawn, our accomplished acolytes would set out to the, into the world for a year in order to search for our master. It was a rite of passage of sorts. Perhaps he will return someday. Hmm. What's this? Running blood? Cool. Just something that increases just flat physical damage and offensive ability. Sounds cool to me. So, the Tome Keeper. Hello, Keeper of Tomes. Master Varak speaks highly of your contributions. The Order values the Legion's assistance. And yours. But by now I am sure you are eager to see the culmination of your efforts. However, one last thing remains before we can return Malkadar to us. What is it? Underneath Fort, Fort Icon. 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 To the north, there's a crypt dedicated to, the, to an ancient faith. Therein lies the tomb of Archon Bartholom, a once powerful priest. The Archon was cremated upon death, his ashes stored within a sacred urn. In order to bring back Malkadar, we must gather these ashes. They will serve as the core of his remnant body. Revenant body. Unfortunately, Kaimon's chosen have already moved into the crypt, declaring its contents sacred to their misguided faith. I will gather the ashes. It will be done. How have I... Um, oh, I'm already respected. Look at that. What do we got here? Death's Crescent. I really wish I could get a better two-hander, but this one's really strong. Or one-hander. Death's Force. Okay. Yeah, I'm rocking the acid damage right now. I don't want to lose too much defensive ability either. Even though that is really cool. That's a really cool headpiece. Uh, 
What we got here? That's the shoulder pads of perdition. I don't want to replace those. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get an upgrade until I'm exalted or whatever it is, revered. Interesting. Okay. Dumb ways to die. Really dumb ways to die. That was the first song that I that ran through my head today. I have a very musical brain, so it's now going to be playing in my head all day long until I listen to something else. No problem. Oh, that was Fort Heron, though. Wasn't it? Maybe it wasn't. That's the only fort I saw up here. I don't see a fort. That's Dark Vale Gate. Fort Icon. Whoa, that's way up there. Jeez. So where's this guy then? Uh, okay. So I got a ways to go before I get into this. All right, so I don't remember where this was, unfortunately. I still don't remember. I'm going to put that off, take that off. Slake has Kara. Uh, okay, let's just... Let's just keep going. I've done Griver's Mill. Fort Heron doesn't seem like it has anything for me other than XP. So, how do I make it even further up? Over here. That skill's not ready. Unless I go through Fort Heron, which is always possible. Maybe I do have to go through Fort Heron. I've been a lot of places over here in Divers. No, no, no. Because this is where I got to Dark Vale. Yeah, 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 yeah. The town. That was up here. Once I get up here, I get into Dark Vale. It will show up. Get out of here, you, you nasty little demon. Yeah, right up here. Yeah, Village of Dark Vale. See it up in the upper right. Man, I love this game. And like I said, they have uh, they have mods that make it so like it unlocks all of the different class abilities. Like, not specifically, you still have points that you have to distribute, just like you do in this. Uh, but you can, like, customize your own build, like, from the ground up. So if you're, like, more of a Path of Exile type player, you can run with that mod. And be able to, uh, you know, have that kind of access to everything. Just as long as you understand that the game wasn't originally designed for that, and you are going to be OP. You know, having a build like this where I could have, you know, a raven, like, from the occultist, and, you know, I could have all sorts of different stuff. You know, or even just explosives. I was just waiting. Someone was walking by. So I was waiting for 
them to get by before continuing. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got this. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. I totally forgot to drop off all my stuff. Uh, which is mildly annoying. I did get a bunch of cool stuff in this playthrough. Like, just metric tons of it. It's kind of a trip. What, you guys want a piece of me? You guys think you're cool? Huh? Do you? Can I just... Yeah, I can break all this stuff. That skill's not ready. Okay. Wait, where does this go? Does it connect? Or is it... Oh, okay, it's a broken... I see. Alright, I was gonna say, what? I don't remember seeing another path. And I was over there in the fort. It's just a lone baby carriage. That's terrible. In harder difficulties, you really gotta pay attention to who the person was who summoned the dudes. So you can get over there and kill them as soon as possible. Uh, to min-max your capabilities. It's not like you have to, but... To get the most value out of every attack. Um, what was... Uh, I just thought of something that I needed to do and then I forgot, so... Whatever. Oh yeah, it's because I've been playing for a little, I've been moving for a little while, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop a portal right here. What do we got over here? You guys wanna fight? Did I, I dinged? Nice! Excellent. Hey, stop that. That's not what I tried to do. I mean, it is, but that's not what I meant to do. Break all your boxes. None of your boxes are safe. None of your dressers are safe. Your tables. I said your tables. Oh, it's an immortal table. You should pick it up and use it as a shield. Okay, I got another level. Uh, did I need more physique? No, oh, I'm going to put it into spirit, even though I'm probably going to regret that later. But I still need more spirit. Okay. Back in the old skills. Skills. This was veterancy. I didn't need that yet. I want to go into my fighting form. I do absolutely need more stats, but what was the one that I decided on? I put the first point into it. Was it Owl? Yeah, it was. So as I can, as I get more constellations, I'm going to be going into Owl. I'll unlock crab, I think, is what I wanted. That would be good. Arcane barrier. Okay. Get some reduction to the old magic damage. That skill's not ready. How dare you? How dare you shoot at me? You're dead. We'll die now. Yeah. Look at this big old dude. Dang, he does a lot of damage. Oh, it's all these guys shooting at me that did it. Meal bits. All your bits. Did I miss anything? Doesn't look like it. Heck 
Yeah. Give me the stuff. Storm all. Storm up is much better. Attack speed bonus. That's pretty cool. Uh oh, no, that's too handy. Darn it! Come on, man, I want a new weapon. I like shiny stuff. What? Oh, jeez. It's right behind the fight. Sneaky. Now we ran a little ways further. I'm gonna pop another one of those. Because I don't want to fail this time. I have to run all the way back through here. An unholy inscription. That skill's not ready. Nobody ever got anything out of being a demon spawn. The bathhouse? Ew, this place is disgusting. Gross, I'm leaving. I'm gonna click this, but I sure as heck am not gonna read it. That is gross. I don't want this, or this, or this, or this, or this, or that, or this. Um... I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want that either. Or this. Or that. Or this. Or that. Or that. Okay. Let's take all the blues and put them into the last frame. Here we go. So that I don't end up throwing them away for some stupid reason. Oh, what's this? Just the material. I don't want that. Boom, boom, boom. All right, and we'll put this here. Okay, Aether Shard as well, and the Blood of Bithon. Those are all very important things. I actually don't need to be carrying around these Black Legion things anymore. Now we'll put the uh, Aether Cluster as well over there. Oh, and this room. There we go. Um, then we'll go ahead and bring all of this stuff over here. Ether. I apparently just hit puberty. I don't know how that happened. A second puberty sounds like a nightmare. What does unholy inscriptions give me? It's really not bad. Interesting. Okay, let's get rid of all that. We got rid of all the stuff. We gotta get them straightened out. I have a lot of iron and scrap and stuff, so aha! Good. Let's do this. This is one of the cool ones. We gotta fight hordes of enemies. Oh, and there's a boss over there. That's not ideal. That is not what I wanted to have happen, but okay. Oh man, they do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. We got him. That was pretty bad right there at the start. Purging more acts of blight? To do me. Oh no. Why do you gotta do this to me? Dang, this place is gross. Nasty. This is the Dark Veil Gate. Yeah, I keep thinking that I'm supposed to be doing something, but it's not. It's not. I, I, I'm doing the right thing. I just need to progress. I got used to doing constant. These are Shouses of Ruin. 
Man, that's a lot of physical damage. Those would be way better. But, see, I'd lose spirit. I'm really kind of in a bind. I didn't expect to need this much. Hey, get out of here. You too. Go away. What did I say? Go away. Let's look at the map real quick to figure out what's going on. Okay, so there's lots of corridors. Really easy to miss stuff. Oh, hi. That skill's not Go away. Ready. You too. The good thing about corridors is that since there's a lot of ranged attackers, I can easily get around a corner if there's any that do high damage. Can't do that. You know, if I got a bunch of them that are hitting me, I clicked this, right? Yeah, I clicked it. Really want to follow the straight path first? Can't do not, that yet. not really. Not especially. Well, it seems okay. How much time have we been going? Oh, only 37 minutes. It is so easy to lose track of time in this game. There is a couple solutions. Like, see, if I was to increase my main target or my main single target damage even more, what would happen is I would need to rely on my castable abilities less. So there's quite a few different ways we can go about dealing with my spirit problems. And I think the most basic version of that, of dealing with your spirit problems as like a main hand attacker kind of guy like this is definitely wading yourself more into the single target actions but I don't really want to do that also I do this kind of back and forth thing like this where I like went up there a little ways it looked like that was going to progress for a while. So I wanted to come over here first and see if it, uh, if I could do something else instead. Like, so, cause I, I'm trying not to miss small sections of the map. It's the whole deal. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Oh, what do we have here? Blood of the Dawn. another one of those creepy moments where the uh oh armor pen i forgot all about that i'm doing fine because i have a bunch of elemental damage but i should probably yeah. think about armor pen a little bit it looks like this connects to where i was before it's not a big deal i wonder why i keep getting choppiness Oh, yeah, I know why. It's because I'm Can't do that. updating a new crypto wallet in the background. So it's making connections and it's uh, seeding the blockchain to other people as well. So I get a little choppiness every once in a while. Hey, you came through here. How did you do that? Don't think I didn't see that. Cheating. That's what that is. They're cheating. Can't do that yet. I'm gonna break your chairs. Break all your stuff. Oh. 
I was reading that map all wrong. Okay. Oh. Where did I not see that? Where did I not see that? Lore, lore, lore. There was something that I was meaning to look at. I seem to recall... See, I play so many of these isometric RPGs that I can't... can't do that. I can't remember if there was... Is there anything right nearby? No. I can't remember if there was a mini-map, like... sizing thing was that in this game that would let me increase the mini map size or like have an overlay or something or was that just path of exile let's see here is there a mini map window in here i seem to recall there being like oh whoa you could play this with a gamepad i didn't even know that This game would be awesome on a gamepad, especially this build. Center map, map window, okay. Show items, filter common, yeah, okay. Show items, no filter, all right. Pause game, toggle. Zoom in, zoom out. No, I don't think so. Lock map rotation. Camera shade, corpse resistance, auto loot materials. Oh. Nice. Yes, I do want you to auto loot materials. Uh, gosh, I swore there was. Maybe it was a. Uh... Yeah, maybe it was a mod that I was using. Let me try something. No. Plus and minus don't do anything. Okay. Anyway. I wish I could have a slightly larger menu. Because part of the reason, like, I, I had a friend of mine tell me that it was kind of annoying how many times I opened up the minimap when he was watching this. The... The whole deal is what I'm doing do when I do that is I don't have like I, I'm not a massive giga brain. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows that already, uh, but I can log specific kinds of information in my head. And like what I'm doing here is I'm going, OK, what I'm seeing over here in the in the place that I'm going is that there's a path over here. There's also a path over here. And I just need to clear out this section. So that's why I keep opening up the map and then closing it. So obviously here's somewhere where I need to go. But I also am aware that there's more stuff that I need to uncover in this little area. Right here. You know, and then I'll go ahead and I'll go look at it again and get the same kind of information. 
I could come up here. Was there anything that I just uncovered? Okay, there is. I can't do that yet. I do need to progress even further. See? It's because I'm purposely trying to kind of get an idea of the the situation of where I'm going. It's not going to tell me where any enemies are, but it'll give me an idea of how much ground I've got to cover. You know, or if I'm going to run into a wall like this. See? Like, I know that I'm going to come up here and there might be a little bit up here for me to do. So I do a lot of the pop up the minimap, look at what's about to come. That skill's not ready. And it gives me an idea. It's an old, it, you know, it, a lot of these things that I do in games like this, it's from, it's from the fact that I used to play so many old school roguelikes. I want to know what's going on in that next room before I make a plan. So like if I walk into a room that has like a bunch of different entrances into it, I want to know that I'm walking into a room that has a bunch of different potential danger areas. Or if I can go ahead and focus my attention on like, say in this area, I only need to focus my attention over here. You know what I mean? Instead of having to focus on if there was a door over here, a door over here and a door over here kind of a thing. So, it's all old-school roguelike tactics, because in, even in games like these that are uh, RPGs, action RPGs, you can use those kind of tactics to help yourself along. Like, grab a group and... Uh, or aggro a group and then drag them through a door to make it so that they can't all attack you at the same time. That's the kind of deal. What is that? Is that just a book laying on the floor? It is. Can I break the bookshelf? Sure can. I'm gonna get even more lore. Only 350? What? How dare you. Oops. Okay. Another gross room. Awesome. And another gross room. These guys are doing all sorts of gross stuff. Nice. Dude, that auto pickup materials. Putting in work. That is awesome. I don't even have to pick up, like, potions and stuff anymore. Or, well, I never did. Get out of here, bloodletter. Go away. See, I didn't even have to do that, so now it's going to work on materials as well. That's awesome. Alright, cool. We covered the whole entire spiel. Spiel? That's not the word I was looking for. We covered the entire map here. Now, to go through the door. The scary door. I don't have a Hulu account, but I really want to see the new Futurama. I've always been a fan of Futurama. Because I don't have a Hulu account, I've been uh, watching compilations on YouTube of the old school Futurama. None of you gross people who hang people up by their feet get to sit in any chairs. Can't do that yet. I am the destroyer of chairs. Hear ye, I have come for your chairs. Your calves will burn. Nice. Yeah. 
definitely go into options menu and turn on pick up all materials. That is so good. So good. Loving that. Quit turning the map, dang it. Was there an option for for uh, lock map rotation? Boom. Oh, that's the map right now. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So that is... So make it a map. You guys got chairs in here? Alright, you're off the hook. Brick floor. I've always thought about that, actually. Another random thought to share with you. Uh, if I ever became a billionaire, I think I'd... Like a... I think I'd want to build a brick house. Like, I don't need, like, ivory and stuff like that, you know, and, like, marble. But brick houses just make sense to me. I'm trying to open this box. Go away. Not you. Please stay. Please watch my videos. My energy is low. Even if you're a creepy demon person who, you know, hangs people up by their feet, you can stick around. Just don't do that to me. That would make me very sad. I also really think you should probably not do that to other people, but, you know, I'm just a guy on the internet. Not to mention, I don't know if you'd survive if you tried to do that to me. I wouldn't recommend it. Might be a hurting unit nowadays, but I can do a lot of damage. Anyway. Hey, typical gamer. <laughs> when you look at me, I look like it. But looks can be deceiving. Let me throw. of the Black Legion? Do tell me this is totally an awesome shield. 45% for... Will you not? I'm trying to look at my new shield. It is cool. But right now I'm kind of decked out with the Predation stuff. I don't really need that 10% extra armor. But, you know, Acid Retaliation is cool. Acid Damage is cool. I would love to get the whole set. That would be cool. To get the whole set of the Perdition armor. Can't do that yet. Ooh. Oh, gosh. I forgot that Space Virus pauses the game. It freaked me out. Those curses stack up. I'm taking a mad damage from those. Can I do anything in here? No, I guess not. 
What do you mean I can't jump into the giant blood pool, whirlpool of death? How dare you? I don't like closed doors like this, so I'm going to go ahead and put a personal rift down. And it closed automatically, so I'm actually going to put another one right here. It's a boss. All right. All right, Kairos. Watching my health bar. Looking for stuff on the ground. Use a spirit potion first. Oh, jeez. Dude's a nerd. What are you gonna... Stage two? Yep. I was gonna say. Oh, and stage two is much stronger. My spirit. My spirit. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Jeez, 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 jeez. Okay, spirit up. Alright, cool. Coming back. Taking a lot of damage. I'm still taking a lot of damage. Don't you kill me. Don't do it. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Nope. Oh! Okay. I'm okay. And I'm dead. <laughs> I almost pulled that off. So close. It's all right. He's like pretty much dead. So all I got to do is just hop back in there on, on the double. And we will kill Keras. Boy, you done did it now. You gonna die. Oh. Tempest Sickle. Sigil. Sorry. Final something something. Kara's Tome. Alright, Kara's Okay, we're going back to Homestead. Let's see what else he dropped. Rare Ring, 3% health, 6% attack speed, 7% Uh, We will pick these up just to sell them. 34% vitality damage, fire damage, electricity damage. Uh, I didn't even look at that last one. We got a new chest. You're going to give me another piece of the perdition armor. It's going to happen. Watch this. Nope. Mask of Delirium. 27% pierce damage. 18% cunning. 5% attack speed. It's a bit of a Okay. Wand of the Sage. So what's back here? It's just a way out? I guess so. Where am I? Oh, the As Astacron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that... Yeah, so I'll go out here. I'll get this and then I'll go back and turn it. Hopefully they're not too high level. I am nearing that scary place, though. There's a place in this game that corrupted my saves made it so that I couldn't continue. This dude's do a lot of damage. Those regular attacks, or regular enemies that made me use a potion. I need to keep that in mind. I really need to make a beeline for that. For finding that portal.
Aha. There it is. See that? I could have walked right by it. So this leads up here and then I follow the road? I see. Okay. Cool. Let's go turn in that quest. And we are at over an hour, so we can go ahead and wrap this one up. I did the things. Praise me. Praise me, people of Homestead. For I have achieved the things and the stuff. Why do you have such a grim look on your face? What happened out there? Let's see. I'll be damned. If the bastards pull this off, we may as well slit our own throats. This scenario is well beyond my pay grade, or would be if I were getting paid. You will need to bring this to Creed's attention immediately. What did I get for that? Harold's Ward? 14 physique, 45 offensive ability, 5% total speed. Armor worn by the Emperor's Herald on diplomatic missions. Whoa, plus one to all skills. What a trip. I've already informed Creed of your recent actions. He is most eager to speak with you. Show him what you've shown me. He needs to see this. I will speak with Creed at once. You're here. Good. We have much to discuss. I found these notes on Kalas. I've heard of this ritual. It has been performed only once before. Shall we say, not good. The cult must not be allowed to see this through. We must make haste to Fort Icon at once. Will you join us? Of course I will. The rank is scattered. We can once again reconnect with the main Legion force to the north. And just in time, too. Based on the information you've brought back from Keros, we need to immediately send all available forces to the necropolis and stop that ritual. Algrim and I will be leaving shortly with a small contingent of troops. Will you meet us at Fort Icon? It lies just beyond the Astakarn Mountains, through the Darkvale Gates. I will see you there. We will destroy the forces, the whatever, the people that are hey, doing George, these things. Ah, uh, okay. Boom, boom. Wait. What did I just do? Oh, I put the wrong thing on. Where'd my original shoulders go? Hello? My original shoulders? That's these. Yeah, they were the addition ones. Okay. I meant to go like these? No, that's not what I wanted to do either. There we go. I'm gonna have to go dismantle some stuff, like for sure. Here pretty soon. It's gonna have to happen. It's safe with me. Promise. I'll keep your stash safe. It's safe with me. Promise. I like how you say that. What brings you to my forge? Come see what's left of my way. What brings you to my my forge? But I don't know what I'm saying. See you around. Safe storage. No questions asked. Wait, I need this. I need this crap. I need the crystals. Okay. Yeah, I am getting way too much stuff in here. I 
Maybe I should just put all of my crafting stuff like in one of these bags. Cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. We'll see you on the next one. If you want to help with the channel, you can have my donation links in the description below. And uh, peace out. Get yourself grimmed on. Please keep it if you haven't. It's a lot of fun. Peace. I'll see you on the next one.